Hi Pep Stars, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Grade 5 Mathematics 2023 Performance Cast. I'm going to get right to the paper. Sharing the paper to the screen now. So the title is Building a Computer Lab. It says the principal of a school wants to build a computer lab on a plot of land next to the school premises. He wants the computer lab to hold as many students as possible. The principal also wants to use the least expensive seating option for the lab. Help the principal to determine how much fencing to buy to enclose the plot of land. Calculate the total area of the computer lab. Determine how much furniture can fit inside the computer lab. Determine how much students can be seated in the computer lab at once. Recommend which seating option should be used to furnish the computer lab. Part one, plot of land. The diagram below represents the plot of land that the principal has identified to build a computer lab. The plot of land has 22 meters long, is 22, 22 meters long and 18 meters wide. And we're seeing the plot of land there on the grid. Question one, the principal would like to buy fencing to enclose the plot of land before he starts building. How many meters of fencing would he buy? So if we're looking about, if we're looking at enclosing a plot, that means that we're looking at, looking at the perimeter, the distance around the lot. So to find the perimeter, we're just adding the width plus the width and the length plus the length and adding them all up together. I will multiply the width times two, multiply the length times two and add it. So here's the formula for perimeter. So length plus length plus width plus width, or we can say two times the length because we can see two there, and two times the width and plus it together, right? That's 22 plus 22. This is the way I'm doing it. Plus 18 plus 18. 22 plus 22 is 44. And 18 plus 18 is 36. So you can say 44 plus 36. So the total is let me just look back at the dimension just to make sure I'm adding the correct thing. I know it's 22 because I could see it there. All right, so 18 is correct.
So this looks like it is four and it's about like 80, 80 meters. So that's the answer for number one. Let's move on to number two. On the diagram below, representing the plot of land, the section outlined in red shows where the principal would like the computer lab to be built. The section inside the computer lab, shaded gray, shows where the teacher's desk and chair will be. Question two. What is the total area of the computer lab? So here's the computer lab and we can just count the squares for the computer lab. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is 12 meters. And one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, eight meters. So we can say 12 times eight. Question two says, what is the total floor area of the computer lab? It says, show your working in the box provided below. So we know that the formula for air is length times width. And the length is eight, and the width is 12. Eight times 12 is 96. So it's 96 meters square. That's the answer for number two.